Hi everyone, it's Miss Dragonfly back again, here to bring you another segment on love and life as it really is. Cross-cultural and cross-racial relationships are no longer as rare as they once were, as more and more people try dating outside their race. One pairing you will find more often than others is that of white men dating Asian women. What I find very interesting is that usually conservative white men stick to their own women, I guess because they're conservative. And it is usually the leftist white men that try dating Asian women. I guess it's their way of showing how open-minded they are and finding the supposedly exotic attractive. Let me tell you, this happens a lot and it's also the reason why those relationships never make it to marriage. Why you may ask? Well, let me tell you a little of Asian women in general. Asian culture, especially East Asian culture, is conservative. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, the closest analogy of East Asian society and culture is the 1930s. So think East Asian culture, think the 1930s. So what you get with an East Asian woman is basically a 1930s woman and would therefore be conservative. Therefore, if you date her, you would really need to treat her as you would a 1930s woman and expect that her wants and her expectations would be that like a 1930s woman. So what would that mean? Firstly, she would want to get married and not muck around. 98% of East Asian women want to get married. Uh, now, I don't care how westernized or hip she seems. If you are not intending on getting married or marriage, then do not go there. Don't waste your time and especially do not waste hers, please. And secondly, she will be a traditional lady and so you would need to treat her as such and also be a gentleman. And that means paying on the first date is a must and on most dates, if not every day, yes. That is actually how it happens in East Asian society dating scene. And thirdly, being traditional, expect the relationship to move slower than you would normally be used to. So certainly there will be no sex on the first second or third date, maybe not even for months and it's not even unheard of not to have any sex before marriage. That is not, um, as I say, that rare a thing in an East Asian society, not having sex before marriage, I mean even today. So, so yeah, I know it sounds quaint and probably unheard of in Western society today. But unlike Westerners who mostly date for fun, Asians date with a purpose and that is to get married. So certainly the dates and the times you spend together are an assessment for suitability for marriage. Now this would, this may all sound rather extreme, but remember, you get what you pay for. If a woman dates with a purpose of marriage, then you will likely get a woman that is suitable for marriage. And if she dates traditionally, then she would also have traditional values and bring that into a marriage with you. This is all very general. I know there are always exceptions to everything. However, we can only go on the general with general advice. Um, uh, you can, it's just like saying men are taller than women, <laughs> you know, generally in everyday life you're going to find that that is true. So that is the only thing we can go on. Okay, so from all that we can see that it is conservative men that would be best to date and also benefit from dating Asian women. In terms of white men, it is those that are conservative emotionally and financially stable that will find a great marriage with Asian women. 
Now it doesn't happen that often because of the reasons I've stated before because it's mostly the white leftist men that try dating Asian women and as you can imagine how that turns out it's not very well. Okay so if you have any questions about this at all then leave them in the comments below. Um, I will find it interesting to read your comments and also looking forward to answering, answering any questions you may have. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, until you, I see you in my next video, it's lots of love and bye for now.